You three are possessed. You missed me. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 superhero teams we want to see in Avengers 5. <laughs> You're a it. goddamn superhero, you! X-Force! X-Force? For this list, we'll be looking at alliances and groups within the Marvel Universe that we'd love to see fight alongside Earth's mightiest heroes. We'll be including teams that have one or more members that haven't yet appeared in the MCU. Since some of the superheroes we'll be talking about got their powers at important story moments, beware of spoilers. What team do you want to see assemble for Avengers 5? Let us know in the comments below. We're Eternals. We came here 7,000 years ago to protect humans from the deviants. Number 10, X-Force. Our group will be forward thinking, gender neutral. From now on, we'll be known as X-Force. Isn't that a little derivative? If there was a serious problem in the world that required a more aggressive approach, this team could drop in to take care of business. Versions of this forceful team have included popular characters like Cable, Domino, and Deadpool. Although the most recent live-action version of the X-Force lost a few members, there's still a few strong fighters left in the roster. But there is a slight chance Vanisher could make it. Nope, no chance. He's he's dead. The whole team? Only the main ones. We're still good. And maybe they could find variants of members of the team like Caliban and X-23 to join their cause. If a Deadpool-led X-Force was officially brought into the MCU, it would be hilarious to see him bantering with the more serious Marvel heroes. And outside of jokes, the powerful abilities members of this team have could help defeat a big bad. Zip it, Thanos. We have a deal and you fuck ah! Hey. Number 9. Inhuman Royal Family I'm not one of them, Gorga. I've never been to Earth. Regardless of what my genes might suggest, I'm an inhuman like the rest of you. Marvel's 2017 attempt at bringing this powerful group to live action was heavily criticized and widely forgotten for lackluster effects and unlikable characters. So why not fix these problems by reintroducing them into Avengers 5? Characters like Black Bolt have tremendous abilities that would be incredible to see utilized against a strong foe. Having the royal family appear in a big-budget movie should also ensure that effects like Medusa's hair look authentic and awesome. And having Inhumans like Crystal and Gorgon bounce off other heroes could go a long way to make them feel like three-dimensional characters. Teaming up with Avengers could allow this royal family to fully leave their bad adaptation behind. You should be happy. You saved the Inhumans. Number 8. Secret Warriors Call compartmentalization. Nobody spills the secrets because nobody knows them all. Except you. Seeing as S.H.I.E.L.D. is a major part of the MCU's history, it makes sense to bring in one of their most notable teams. The Secret Warriors were assembled by Nick Fury while he was off the grid. We've seen great live-action interpretations of members like Elena Yo-Yo Rodriguez and Daisy Johnson, a.k.a. Quake, on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That's their idea. Their debut on The Secret Warriors was tied closely to the Secret Invasion comic event. Since Sam Jackson's Fury will star in a miniseries of the same name in 2022, the timing is perfect to bring a version of these warriors in. We'd love to see them lead Quake, Yo-Yo, or others into the big screen. But if you want to stay ahead of me, Mr. Secretary, you need to keep both eyes open. Number 7. Midnight Suns Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. 
Doctor Strange isn't the only one dealing with mystical threats in the Marvel Universe. The Midnight Suns are full of heroes and heroines ready to take on the supernatural. If a mystical villain is involved in the next Avengers film, Strange should have recruitment options. The half-vampire Blade's been involved in versions of the team. While he'll be formally introduced into the universe in his own movie, Midnight Suns recruit Moon Knight will appear in a Disney Plus series. And the moon will not tolerate your interference. The moon? Is that code for something? Oh. And if you still want more options, we'll likely see team member Werewolf by Night introduced in 2022. Strange has enough exciting recruits to warrant a meeting of the Midnight Suns in the upcoming years. About time. You're a Midnight Sun now. One of us. Number 6. The Eternals Why didn't you guys help fight Thanos? Or any war, or all the other terrible things throughout history? We were instructed not to interfere in any human conflicts unless deviants are involved. Although the Eternals didn't help topple the mad titan Thanos, they may be around to help face the next threat. These powerful beings can definitely help tip the scales in the good guy's favor. The Eternals roster is known for including a speedster named Makari, an expert fighter named Thena, the ridiculously powerful Icarus, and many more. It also helps that all have experience defending the Earth from dangerous enemies, and they'll clearly know of the Avengers already. So now that Captain Rogers and Iron Man are both gone, who do you think's gonna lead the Avengers? I could lead them. <laughs> Whether the brilliant Eternal Fasto shares complex ideas with Shuri or his ally Gilgamesh arm wrestles the Hulk, this group is more than welcome to avenge the Earth. Throughout the years, we have never interfered. Until. Number five, Defenders. Guys, this is a lot worse than what we faced before. That's an understatement. After the introduction of the live-action versions of Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist, fans were anticipating the day where these defenders would fight with the Avengers. But they never so much as waved to Spider-Man in Phase 3. It's time for Marvel to make up for lost time and get this team on the big screen. Since fans have mixed feelings about Danny Rand, Colleen Wing could take his place on the team as Iron Fist. They could also shake up the roster by adding Punisher to the crew. Hey! I'll dance with you. Each of these defenders saved lives in New York multiple times. Between their heroic experience and special abilities, these local heroes have earned the right to stand shoulder to shoulder with Avengers. We can't leave. We have to end them. We got a plan. Yeah, it involves bombs. You're called bombs, right? Seriously? The only way out of here is together. Number four, Thunderbolts. We don't think it's just a coincidence that the mysterious Valentina has offered work to two people with extraordinary abilities and questionable histories. We're not gonna need a Captain America. We're gonna need a US agent. It feels like she's forming a team that we absolutely want to see. While Val could come up with an original team name, she could call her alliance of morally gray enhanced individuals the Thunderbolts. You know, coming here makes you look desperate. <laughs> okay. I want to raise, oh yeah, you and me both. We could see the serum-enhanced US agent taking charge of the team. He could be supported by Yelena and her formidable set of impressive skills. While longtime comic team member Zemo might not make the cut, maybe the crew has room for former villain Ghost. Seeing the morally gray Thunderbolts backup heroes would make for an unforgettable and striking scene. Wow, couldn't have worked better if I planned it myself. Number three, the Young Avengers. When I wore this suit, I made a whole lot of enemies. You're a Hawkeye. Who the hell are you? Who said the adult superheroes should have all the fun? We'd love to see some of the MCU's younger heroes step into the spotlight in Avengers 5. Traditional team members like a young variant of Loki, Tommy, aka Speed, and Billy, aka Wiccan, have already been introduced. Listen, boys, 
Your mother and I never really prepared you for this. But you were born for it. And potential recruits like Miss Marvel and Miss America will make live-action MCU debuts in 2022. The team could be led by Kate Bishop after her exciting internship with Hawkeye. As much as it hurts to admit it, adult Avengers like The Archer won't be around forever. Fans could see that the MCU's future is in good hands if the young heroes show up in cinemas. Some people have actually called me the world's greatest archer. Are you one of those people? Number two, Fantastic Four. A new day is done. The day of the Fantastic Four. <laughs> While the Fantastic Four historically haven't appeared in the best live-action movies, we have faith the upcoming MCU movie will do justice to Marvel's first family. It would be a great one-two punch to have them appear in Avengers 5 after their big debut. Since the team only has four members, it'd be easy to have them lead their own plotline and meet Avengers. That's exactly what the Guardians of the Galaxy did to great success in Infinity War. I'm gonna ask you this one time. Where is Gamora? Yeah, I'll do you one better. Who's Gamora? I'll do you one better. Why is Gamora? And beyond being powerful and cool, the Fantastic Four stands as one of Marvel's oldest and most enduring teams. Reed Richard, Sue Storm, The Thing, and Johnny Storm all deserve to display their cosmically cool powers in an epic crossover. Man, I love this job. Job, huh? Well, we do have a suit. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. X-Men Well, this might just work, Charles. Fans were extremely excited when they thought the mutant Quicksilver entered the MCU in WandaVision. So, the sight of an entire team of astonishing X-Men standing behind Doctor Strange could break the internet. Imagine how awesome it would be to see Storm shooting lightning, Professor X playing mind games, and Wolverine slicing in a Marvel film. We'd also love if iconic mutants like Blink or Kitty Pride got bigger roles. It's not just his power that'll be tested. I've seen what this can do to you. Analysts. Trust me. It doesn't matter whether these characters come from a different universe or appear organically in the MCU timeline. After watching the last two X-Men movies fall short of expectations, we're happy for mutants to show up for any reason. Seeing this group blink into Avengers 5 would help the MCU evolve into something greater. It's good to see you, Charles. It's good to see everyone. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.